Hi guys, it's me, Mrs. Kaufman. I'm sitting in my bedroom and I wanna introduce you to a friend of mine, Sebastian. <laughs> He's a loved friend, so no little secret. I do sleep with this guy every night. Today, I wanna to read for you a book called Masterpiece. Art Museum, some of you recognize that. Painting The Persistence of Memory by Salvador Dali. Ooh. Starry Night was a painting made by Vincent Van Gogh. In 1889, Van Gogh placed himself in a mental asylum. Starry Night was the view that he saw from his room just before sunrise. The painting can now be seen at the Museum of Modern Art, the MoMA in New York City. My favorite, Monet. Bridge Over Pond of Water Lilies was one of 250 other paintings by Claude Monet, a French Impressionist. Impressionism is a style of art that focuses on everyday life instead of royalty or famous people. Edgar Degas was famous for his paintings of ballerinas. He was fascinated by their graceful movements and elegance. Many of his paintings showed a typical day for the ballerinas at their studio. Degas, another Impressionist, painted ballet rehearsal in 1873. The Great Wave of Kanagawa is a woodblock print by Katsuchika Hokusai. Sorry. Woodblock printing is a way to print onto materials such as fabric and paper. I've actually never said his first name before. Let's look on that. Katsuchika Hokusai. The Great Wave was a part of a series of other paintings called 36 Views of Mount Fuji. The painting was made during the Edo period of Japan, which was between 1603 and 1867. Edo is now known as Tokyo, the capital of Japan. Francis Picabia's machine turn quickly was finished in 1917 and was a form of abstract art. Now, abstract art is non-representational. It's not supposed to be of anything specific. It was made as a part of the Dada movement, which began in Switzerland in 1916. The group was formed as a response to World War I as an embrace of disorganization and chaos. I think everybody above first grade should know this one. Piet Mondrian's Comp 10 was one of his abstract paintings featuring lines, geometric shapes, and solid colors. Anybody remember what those lines that run across side to side are called? Horizontal, you're right. Anybody remember what the lines that go up and down are called? Yes, vertical. And in Piet Mondrian's paintings, you always see what group of colors? Hi, Marys. Mondrian's gray tree was one of his first attempts of cubism. Cubism is a style of painting that uses geometric shapes to depict something. Cubism paintings are not meant to be realistic. The Persistence of Memory was painted by Salvador Dali in 1931. It was created as a surrealist piece or a way to express the artist's own mind. What do you notice here? The clocks are melting. Dali said himself that the painting was actually his idea of pieces of cheese melting in the sun. This can also be seen at the Museum of Modern Art, the MoMA. Another Monet, Impression Sunrise, was another painting by Claude Monet. Though people later said that this was just abstract art or art with no subject that could be understood in many different ways, the painting itself gave rise to the Impressionist movement. Frantisek Kopka painted Amorpha Fugue in two circles in 1912. This painting is a popular example of abstract art. This piece of art began as a girl holding a ball in her hand and gradually changed into ribbons of color that cross the page. 
Malvik's Black Square laid the groundwork for the suprematism movement. Suprematism was a style that used basic geometric shapes and gray tones. Everybody loves this one. Action Jackson. Jackson Pollock was famous for splashing paint onto canvas, a style that was later named action painting. The colors in number five from 1948 created different textures and many people came to understand it differently. It was sold in 2006 for over $100 million. The soup cans. Andy Warhol was a leading figure in the pop art movement. That means he made art based on popular culture. Warhol was famous for his Campbell's soup, which showed 32 cans of soup lined up in a four by eight rectangle. He also painted many colorful celebrities, such as Marilyn Monroe, and popular household items, such as bottles of Coca-Cola. Here's a blank canvas. I love to always see what you create. Keep sending your artwork to me. Miss you guys. See you soon.